In the past, I've looked at double barreled M4s, tri shot shotguns, but when I got told someone found a four barreled pistol in the stockroom, I had to grab it. This is the Merusian COP357. This is by no means a new pistol, but this is actually the first time I've managed to get my hands on one, so saying they are far and few between is definitely an understatement. The pistol itself is made out of high quality polymer, so much so that at first when I picked it up, I thought it was actually made out of metal. This is a non-blowback gas pistol, and it's gassed at the base of the pistol grip. On the right side of the pistol, there is a lever style safety catch, and with gloves on, it's not the easiest thing to use. Along the top of the gun, you do have some engravings on both sides. On one side, you've got the trademarks for the pistol, and on the other are Merusian's markings themselves. Along the top, you have got some very basic iron sights, but the rear one itself is actually the release for the brake barrel. Pull it backwards and it opens up revealing the four individual barrels with their own fixed hop units on each of them. Sadly, there is no magazine or reservoir for this gun. You have to load each barrel individually and it can only hold four BBs at a time. Now the trigger itself, while it is made out of metal, it's got one of the longest pulls I've found on any airsoft gun. But there is a good reason for it. You see, each time you pull the trigger, one barrel is fired at a time, and the back there is a rotating disc that opens up a channel for the gas to go through. The red dot tells you which barrel is going to be fired next when you pull the trigger. On half a pull of the trigger, the disc rotates at the back, opening up the channel. But if you release that trigger and then pull it back again, it's not going to rotate again until you've done a full pull on that trigger. Once you've released that gas and fired the shot, then it's going to rotate again. Personally, I think it's a very clever bit of engineering on the gun. For the chrono, I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and low powered gas. So, because of the fixed iron sights and the four barrels, you've got to really know which barrel's going to fire next. You've got to adjust your iron sights just a little bit, just to counteract that. Four barrels as well with that fixed hop unit, even on this short range of 0.2s, they are just being skied up after about five meters. So definitely some heavyweight BBs are needed for this. Gas efficiency is not a problem, it's not blowback, so you're going to get loads and loads of shots out of this. But because there's no magazine in it, it's only four shots, this is going to be your backup, backup, backup on your skirmish field. Either that or it's going to be very nice on your desk. But for what it is, and considering what it's made out of, it's built well, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart at all, and it's got four barrels. What more do you want? And it's really cool to play with. As always, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.